All right, so hey, what's going on, everybody? It's me, Shark, here along with Zach from the Basement Channel. His channel will be in the description. Stop. Uh, um, I didn't have Madden 17 installed anymore, so I'm just going to be playing some Black Ops 3 in the back room. But we're going to be talking about the Eagles' last uh, preseason game. So, Zach, who do you think, uh, who is your favorite player from the last game? Ronald Darby. He really showed up like we expected him to. Exactly, yeah. I was going the same route, even though it's hard for me to say that as a big, big Jordan Matthews fan. But uh, I agree with your yeah. pick there. Um, let's go see the defensive stats real quick uh, as we're talking about Ronald Darby. Uh, Michael Kendricks had another pick. This is his second pick in the, his second game. Uh, mm -hmm. Who else had a pick? It was uh, Ronald Darby, of course. Is Ronald Darby, Michael Kendricks, um, and I think that was it. And White as well. Malcolm White, I believe. It was who? Mal I think his first name is Malcolm. I think Malcolm White. He had the game-winning interception, remember? Malcolm. Mitchell White. Mitchell White, sorry. Yeah, he had the game-winning interception. Yeah, so we had three interceptions this game. Not thrown, but uh, picked off. Going to our team, so that's yeah. good. See, trying to concentrate a bit here. Yeah, same here. Uh, Caleb Sturgis was two for three on field goals. His longest field goal was 48 yards. Um, he was two for two on extra points. That's pretty good. Yeah, he was solid. Guy's hurting me real bad. You know, we're playing, yeah, we got Zach over there playing UFC too. Yeah, I'm playing UFC, and this guy's kicking me in the body real bad. I hate wanting to do that. My uh, right bumper actually broke a little bit from playing that game so much. Wow. From blocking so much. This game is basically just spamming. Yeah. But back to the Eagles. <laughs> Uh, let's see. We got uh, Matt McGloin. He was 12 for 20 on attempts and completions, 131 yards, no touchdowns, but one pick. Um, Dane Evans. Typical Matt McGloin. Yeah. Dane Evans, 9 for 12, 92 yards, and one interception. And I didn't even know this. I heard the announcer saying during the game, Dane Evans, he played a little bit of college football, but, like, he just went in for a tryout one yeah. day. And they got him, so. Playing a game. And yeah, and he's playing a game now with the Eagles. Carson. Yeah. Is... Okay. Oh, we got uh, Carson went to six for my, nine. Sorry, it's my dad. It's all right. Carson went to six for nine. He had 56 yards, no touchdowns, no interceptions. Thankfully, no interceptions. Um, yeah. Well, he's the GOAT. What do you expect? Yeah. Uh, our, I don't know. Our offense started off a little bit slow, but then I just felt like when we're getting into rhythm, Doug Peterson decided to take uh, the starters out, so. Yeah. Once they started getting into the rhythm, then they started clicking. Yeah. Uh, Alshon Jeffrey had a solid game. Yeah, let's go to his stats right quick. Uh, okay. Alshon Jeffrey with uh, two reception, two receptions. 23 yards, and he had five targets. Um, about, I think two of those targets were thrown over him that I see. I'm not sure about the other one. One of them was... But one of them was solid, really solid coverage by the Bills, though. Yeah. It was mainly the one that was in the end zone that uh, Alshon... Uh, well, that was thrown way over Alshon's head, and he couldn't go up for that. No way. Yeah. Um, but, you know, it just... Like they said, Carson Wentz, he's excited that he has all these new receivers now. and He's excited to play with them. But uh, let's see. Oh, shoot. Okay, now going on to uh, who else? Oh, uh, LeGarrette Blount had a nice reception. He had two receptions for 15 yards, but he had one of them that was going for 17 yards. The other one that went for negative one. Like, that was yeah. set up perfect. You can, you can tell he's a pro when just the way he was playing it, like – he didn't just run, run straight ahead. He went ahead and, like, waited for his blockers to get in front of him. He'd give him time. 
so that's how you know he's a real pro. Yeah, he's good. But he did have a fumble, though, which kind of worried me there. Yeah, he did. Um, oh, but... Go ahead. What about Don Cherry? Uh, oh, yeah. The GOAT Don Cherry. Don Cherry played nice. Um, yeah, with forcing that fumble on. I forgot what his name was. I forgot the running back's name. Ooh, talk about Brandon like, Graham facing, uh, bear, just absolutely burying McCoy in the backfield. Oh, my gosh. I'm pretty Katie sure the whole, just whole stadium heard that. Him. Yeah. I mean, they had to. Yeah. Um, now we're going on to the rushers. Uh, Corey Clement had eight uh, carries for 34 yards, one touchdown. I really like Corey Clement. Um, he's a pretty he's, I a, do bigger, too. he's a bigger halfback. Um, Wendell Smallwood is not seeing any time, so I have a feeling that Corey is going to be taking his job. Yeah, I think is it uh, uh, Wendell hurt or something like that? Uh, yeah, I think it's hamstring. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I know he's injured, and you know, hopefully he gets better soon. But uh, also, yeah, but he's had problems with injuries. Yeah, uh, Brandon Marshall had six carries for 21 yards. I doubt he's going to be with this when the season starts. Um, yeah. Uh, LeGarrette Blunt. I just got knocked out. Five carries for eight yards. The thing is, um, with LeGarrette Blunt, Doug Peterson was short, sort of playing like a. He reminded me of Chip Kelly when uh, we had DeMarco Murray. He kept like doing outside yeah. runs with LeGarrette Blunt. I don't know why. I was so aggravated. Yeah, that's what he's made. Run him up. Okay. Yeah, he's supposed to punish people, not like supposed to make people miss. Yeah. That's that's I like mean, Corey's job, not like Eric's job. Yeah. Or Donnell Pumphrey's job as well. Exactly. Um Yeah, he had five carries for eight yards. His longest one was eight yards, so the other ones were like for zero yards or, you know. Three for three yards. Carson Wentz two carries for three yards. Nelson Aguilar one carry for zero yards. And Donald Pumphrey three for minus three yards. Um, then again, I think it was Donald Pumphrey. The, the, uh, he was the one running it up the guts. So that's just a no-no right there. Right. Yeah. Uh, Corey Clement had one rush for twenty-four yards. That's his longest one in the game. Uh, Brett Selleck. for eighteen yards. Zach Ertz he picked up a nice first down with that eleven-yard reception he had. Um, Matt Collins, he didn't see, he, we seen him, but he only had one interception for six yards. Obviously way less than, uh, way less than last game. Mm -hmm. The defense played pretty good in my opinion. At least for yeah, the starters. Yeah, they played pretty solid. Even the Derek Barnett. Nope. Yeah, Derek Barnett had another second. That's three in two games. Um, well, I, I took one last night. Well, I took one last night. <laughs> Sorry, it's my brother. That's right. Uh, and, and let me see. Yeah, we have some other stats. Yeah, there's nothing really too interesting. Let's go. Let me see here. I'm using the ESPN app to pull up all these stats. Um. LeGarrette Blount, yeah, he had one fumble, and C.J. Smith recovered that fumble that was caused by Don Cherry. Yeah. Uh, okay, so well, that's that. Um, yeah. Now we're going to be going into the uh, Eagles-Dolphins game. Who do you think is going to win that game? That's going to be in Philadelphia. Uh, I'm going to say the Eagles – are going to win 14 to 10. 14 to 10? Mm. You know, let me see here. Because yeah. they're going to have joint practices together, and I just think it'll be close. Thing is, too, Ryan Tannehill, he's out. Huh. And it's Jay Cutler, and, you know, like. Nick sucks, Foles so. might play. Because he's not on the injury report oh. for that game. The only one on the injury report for that game is running back Smallwood. So, 
Mm, that might be nice. Yeah. Our secondary, our, well, our non first stringers might actually be able to score a little bit more. Um, but yeah, I have the Eagles winning. Let me, I'm gonna go bold. I'm gonna say the Dolphins don't score. They only score by field goals. I'm gonna have it going six to seventeen. Eagles win. Then again, okay. it is priest, so it doesn't matter. But that's my opinion. That's true. But uh, yeah. and this is the game where the starters play a lot. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, that's been about it. So, Zach, you have anything else to say before we close off this video? Mm, not that I can think of. Okay, well, um, that's been it, everyone. Expect another video uh, next week after we play the Dolphins, if everything goes yep. as planned. Um, and then, once again, when Madden 18 comes out, I'm going to be doing uh, some videos on that. Just waiting. Mm -hmm. I had that on the install. Madden 17, to install that. But, uh, yeah, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this Black Ops 3 gameplay in the back. I'm not the best, but, you know, I tried my best. But, uh, yeah, that's been it, guys, and uh, peace. See you later.